Today, we'd like to introduce to you the Trekker Palace. This is our brand new line of two-layer trekking pole tents. And really, we're one of the first two-layer trekking pole tents on the market. The, the Trekker Palace is a two-person, uh, ultra-lightweight, uh, silicone nylon trekking pole tent. Because it's two-layer, you can set it up in multiple configurations. You can set it up as an outer shell, or just the inner mesh shell, or you can set it up as the full tent, which is how we're going to set it up today. It comes in a, uh, in a bag that can be cinched down, a stuff sack that can be uh, compressed, and uh, inside the stuff sack is your tent, about the size of a football. Take that tie off, and you'll find that the stakes are wrapped up inside of the tent, and all guy lines are pre-attached to the tent, and it's, it's ready to set up and go. It comes with a, it's a reasonable heavy duty stake that's, uh, that's still very light. To set this tent up, it's the best way to set this tent up is to lay it flat, attach the top to the bottom before you set it up. That's, that's the easiest way to set it up. And so, so put the top on top of the bottom on top of the bottom that's laid out. And you'll see that in each corner, you have these double clip carabiners. And all you wanna do is go around to the four corners and just clip that carabiner onto the bungee of the inner mesh tent. There's also one that needs to be attached in the peak. There's a bungee right here in the peak. And make sure you attach that to the peak as you're going around. So there's actually six carabiners that need to be attached before you start setting up this tent. When I pack up the tent, I leave the carabiners attached and that way, and roll it up all together. And that way it's, it's all together next time I go to set it up. So if you just have, are setting up one of the shells, you of course don't need to do this step. Uh, if you're just going to sleep in the outer shell or the inner shell, then there's no need to, to care, put the carabiners onto the clips. So after you get the carabiners on the clips, I get it set up, laid out so that you're ready to stake it out. So after you've got the corners, the tent laid out, grab your stakes, grab a rock off the ground, and you'll go around and stake out the four corners first. Make sure when you're staking out down the tent that the, the stake is angled towards the tent, uh, and that'll give you a nice anchor. One of the tricks to this tent is when you're pulling out, when you're staking out the four corners, you don't have to pull them super tight. You can, you can leave just a little bit of slack in there. The inner tent is attached to the outer tent through a flexible bungee cord. And, and so you don't need to pull that bungee super tight to get a, a good setup. You do want to make sure that the tent is as, as rectangle as possible and not, to, not too far off to one side or the other. Okay, so after you've staked down the four corners, it's time to stake out the peak. The peak will have the guy line pre-attached. Uh, and so you just need to pull it and it should come unraveled fairly easily. The peak has a grommet on it and you simply stick, put the carbide tip of your trekking pole into that grommet and then extend your trekking pole until the peak is has some nice firm lines some tight lines right about there and there's a loop at the end of this guy line the tensioner for this guy line is up at the top and so there's a loop on this guy line Put the you put the stake through the loop and you don't have to worry about getting it super tight because that's what the tensioner is for so after you get that stake down you can come up here and this tensioner is super easy to use you just pull on the guy line and then go to the other side do the same thing on the other side put the tip in the the grommet, extend the trekking pole to the desired height. 
if you can just stake it down and you just pull on the tensioner guy line to get it nice and tight. If you notice the ridge line sagging, the, the best way to get rid of a ridge line sag is to actually lower the trekking poles on each side and to tighten the guy lines. And you'll see that actually made the ridge line straighter and took the sag out of the ridge line and it still kept nice tight lines on the rest of the tent. Uh, you can also give a little bit more room inside the tent by pulling out the side guy lines if you, if you want. This isn't a necessary step, but uh, you'll find that on the mesh tent, there's these little, there's little loops and you can attach the carabiner to those loops. And that way, when you pull out the side, you're also pulling out the inside and giving yourself a little bit more room inside the tent. Again, you don't have to worry about how tight this is because you can always go back and tighten it down where you want it. That is the Trekker Palace. <laughs>